The sailing world is full of such pristine environments, which we all love and wish to protect. The humble holding tank. It may not be the most glamorous part of our boats. Like powerful electric motors, tall on ball bearing blocks, exotic new sails, or winches in action. It is nevertheless one of the most important systems to have sorted on one's boat. In this video, I will show you all the elements of a very simple, no odors holding tank system. Most importantly, it will cover making your own activated carbon filters, very economically. And as a bonus, we shall be showing you all the methods we use to reduce incidental odors. Back in the Mediterranean in 2003, we were working aboard a fancy Lagoon 55, trying to earn the money to kickstart our own catamaran build. We had imagined glorious sailing, fancy restaurants and wonderful times in pristine Greek island coves. Now I found myself hands deep in holding tank work, the entire contents released into the bilge. My employer, who had pretended to be our soulmate, is barking impossible orders at me. The boat is cursed with a holding tank in each hull and a head in every cabin. The odours emanating from them have been diabolical. At this point in my life, I vow to build the most simple toilet and holding tank system imaginable on our future craft. So finally, 20 years later, we have reached our holy grail of holding tanks. A holding tank that, that doesn't smell. So in here is our 220 litre holding tank. It, it's directly above the bathroom down there, so it, it drains out very easily. Now the key to building a good holding tank is to slope the base down so that down to there and then on this side it drains also down this way so this becomes our lowest point down here where there is a very carefully fed in drain hole so the key to also building a, a good holding tank is to fair it very carefully on the inside so it's very smooth and then coat it with a hard coat like a clear epoxy so None of the contents want to stick to it. So there we are, and <laughs> yes, this is this is our very simple system that we use to divine how full the tank is. So I, I can feel that it's about up to there, which is about a quarter full. That's after about three or four days. So it lasts for a long time and no odors at all. Here are the technical drawings showing the holding tank design with the bottom sloped down both ways to create a good low spot for it to drain from. That's the top of the holding tank there. Okay, so here you can see the key part of our system. We've replaced the meager 20 millimeter single vent that we used to have with, the, with two 40 millimeter PVC pipes. And you can see one here going around like that. And there's another one here. You can see the second vent pipe here goes down through our shoe cupboard and exits out the bottom of the bridge deck. And here you can see this piece of 40 millimeter PVC tube coming through our bathroom area and then exiting the hole there. So there's the view out of the bathroom window. Not too bad. So here you can see what's basically our inlet vent on the top sides. It's a very neat hole there. This is our vent underneath the bridge deck. So I have this cowling here which is utilizing the venturi effect to suck air out of that pipe like a, a dinghy baler as the wind blows by it sucks air out of that of that pipe encouraging flow so obviously not all boats would have that type of system but that's just an idea of how to use the the venturi effect to get a flow in your holding tank don't go and buy 
one of the $100 commercial type activated carbon filters that are only a, for a one-off usage. Here I'm going to show you how to build your own activated carbon filter for a fraction of that price. And more importantly, they, they are a lot more effective. Okay, so they're, they're quite simple to build. So you start off and you cut a six centimeter section of 90 millimeter PVC tube. That, that's this section here. And then you get one of these 90 millimeter end caps and glue that on there with the PVC glue. And then on this end, you get one of these threaded storm cap ends and glue that on there. And then there's these um, threaded caps that, that screw on there. So you've got this little unit there built already. Now these are 40 millimeter couplings and you have to get a hole saw and drill either end there and then abrade the PVC and then use a epoxy glue to fill it them in place. And that gives you that unit there. So inside that, of course, is the, the carbon, the bag of activated carbon. So these are the, the bags that we, we've made for our one, and it's made from a mosquito mesh, mosquito cloth. And we've got this Velcro opening there that you can get in and out the activated carbon pellets. So make yourself up something like that. Uh, activated carbon is very cheap to buy. You can buy it on eBay. It's used for fishing tank, fish tanks. And um, carbon's amazing stuff. Like a pellet like that, apparently has the absorbing power of an entire football field, which may seem hard to believe, but that's what they say. So it, it absorbs all the badness that goes past it. So it, you just have your little bag, it fits in like that. Now you have to change that every six months to a year, depending on how much you use your, your holding tank. And there's the seal on the end, the end of that, and it screws on. And I also use a bit of silicon in there to make sure that they're sealed and I also tape that when it when it goes back in. So the reason these DIY carbon filters are better than the commercial ones is because you've got yourself a 90 millimeter wide filter here compared to like a you know the the lucky if they're 40 wide the commercial ones. So there's a lot more chance for the air to flow through there and get that system working with air flowing through your holding tank which is what you want. Okay so this is the 40 millimeter PVC pipe we're using in our in our new system and this replaces a, a meager 20 millimeter PVC tube that we'd used before a single tube. So the advantage of having this all this airflow through your holding tank is that you create an aerobic process with lots of oxygen which breaks down the bacteria fast and stops odors from forming as opposed to the type of anaerobic system that you form if you have a single pipe with not much airflow in which you're basically fermenting the contents of your holding tank and this obviously creates a whole lot of undesirable smell. So there you go, that's the beauty of this big pipe we're getting a whole lot of air into our system with. When your electric macerator fails, you're in for some horribly messy work. For a number of years we threw money away buying these expensive units. They will be fine for a year or so, that is, unless someone flushed a med down the toilet and it would totally tangle up the macerator blade. A messy business indeed. After our third macerator failed, with the usual shaft rusting out issue, I was hunting around for better options. 
Then I discovered that good old Henderson style pumps could be used. These reliable manual diaphragm pumps last the lifetime of yachts. And it has been faultless ever since. Oh yes, but what about the sewerage not being macerated you may ask? Well, just by spending time in the holding tank, sewerage becomes broken down into a liquid so that what is pumped out is no different from a system with a macerator. Each day we burn an incense to ward off incidental odours and give our blessings for the day ahead. This ritual is very gratifying and it is beautiful to have the glorious scents of sandalwood and frankincense gently wafting around the boat. To remove unwanted bathroom gases, light a match and move it around, watching it flare up as it burns up the odorous gases. We have also been loving this oil burner my partner introduced onto the boat. Just add a little water and choose the oil you fancy and away it goes, pumping invigorating scent around the cabin. Our system is possibly as simple as one can get. Now we finally have a holding tank that we can use confidently without having to be concerned about unpleasant odours wafting about our boat. Nobody wants those. Our DIY carbon filters work exceptionally well and they are very economical, which means putting in fresh carbon won't be postponed. Unlike with expensive commercial ones, which you might be inclined to persist with, hoping to get a bit more value out of them, but knowing they're already shot. I think all sailors want to do their best to keep their playground clean, and having a good holding tank is a vital step towards making the sailing world better for everyone. Now we don't hesitate to use the holding tank at anchor and this is a great feeling, knowing we're not polluting the very paradise we've worked so hard to reach. I'd very much like to hear what, what you are doing with regards to holding tanks. Please like this video and subscribe if you'd like to help us put out more informative videos on the simple sailing life. As you know, a lot of hard Technical work is required to, to get out sailing, but the rewards are wonderful.